In the last few videos, we have been discussing different sorts of uh, fields, and in the last video, I talked about groups as well. Uh, however, for real analysis, our focus is mostly on fields, so that was just a passion, a, a passion video. So, uh, a field that I think I should mention, which is quite important because it's used in uh, cryptography, is the even odd field. So, there is a field which which has two elements with the first one being any even number and then the second one being any odd number. Normally, to make our lives easier, we, we, we normally use uh, the, the, the zero for, for even and we use one for odd. And um, even though you probably think that that this is not a field it is indeed a field and and if you um, if you wanted to spend time uh, you know proving all the nine axioms of this field to see whether or not I'm telling the truth or lying to you I would like to help you two things that I want to help you with is well one thing that you need to understand is that the negative the, the, the inverse of odd will be equal to odd just just as a just as a helpful hint for you if you if you want to spend your time proving that this is a field and another hint that I want to give you is that the inverse of odd the inverse of odd will be equal to odd now these might help you in in case you get stuck uh, while proving while proving this now another important um, the field what well, so this is important for for cryptography so this is used in cryptography hopefully I'm I'm spelling this correctly and the second one that I wanted to mention is is the polynomials the the the, 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 the the numbers all ratios which can be put in the following in the following format p of x over over q of q of x so generally generally uh, well polynomials polynomial we will talk about them later on in a in a sequence video as well but these are important for geometry geometry and you can spend time proving that th th these are fields as well and 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 i can just tell you that they are and there was another one tropical numbers and we have already talked about them in a previous video where where addition uh, is is defined as a minimum of the two elements being added just just to mention and respect the tropicality of the numbers let's actually just talk about them tropicals 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 we we defined that if you were to take an element and were to just add it to another then that would be equivalent to me taking the minimum of both elements that's how we defined addition and multiplication was defined was de was defined as just adding as, as adding both elements so um that was uh, this is not a field so let me make it clear not a field but it was an interesting example of what it, how how you could be very close to being um, a field and and you can watch my video on tropical numbers in order to see why it's not a field and this is sometimes used again for cryptography as well so both both of these are used for that so in this video I will be teaching you some consequences of fields and before we do that just just to you know bring back our logic operators let's talk about knots uh, not 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 okay let me let, let me make clear let me make it clear what I'm saying not I'm not talking about knots I'm saying let's bring back not the the, the logic operator not if you don't remember this it just changes the truth value if if something is true and if you put not so if this was true and you were to put not in front of it, then y you would make that thing false. So how do we use this in fields? So let's say you want some sort of counter example and you just want to show example. That's just for the sake of examples. Um, th th for, for example, you wanted to show you wanted to show that a set fails i don't know let's let's choose 
commutativity, so additive commutativity, then this is how you would do it. You know, well, you should know by now, and if you don't know, then you can go back to my field axioms that the definition of additive commutativity is that if you give me any, so for all x, y's that reside within any given field, we know that uh, x plus y will be equal to me saying y plus x. And if I wanted to just show this, that this thing fails, so this is clearly working. Sorry. This clearly seems to be working. This is what you use to show, to, to show that it it is successfully meeting additive commutativity. However, if you wanted to show that it does indeed fail it, then this is what you do. You put a bracket here, you put a bracket here, and you write a big knot in front of it. Now this is used, so this whole thing is used so this was so this portion was to show that AC works, additive commutativity works. This this inside part was to show that uh, additive commutativity is working. This whole thing from this point, so from this point to this is to, so this whole thing is to show, to show that additive commutativity fails. Now, one thing that I do want to mention is when you, when you work with logic operators, you can actually translate them. So let me do that for you and let me explain what I am saying to you. So you have this and you have put your bracket and you put your, and you put your knot at the front. You put your knot. Once you do this, then you can translate this. You can actually slide you can slide the not throughout your your statement. So how do we do that? Not only changes not changes the weird symbols that you have. So I'm going to underline those in green. So this is a weird symbol, and and then um, this will be changed into what? And and well, th th this as well. I not just weird. So any weird symbols? So weird symbols. And and any equalities, equalities or inequalities will be flipped or changed. So this is equivalent to me saying what? So you slide the knot through. So this upside down a, which means for all, you say there exists, and then you keep your variable. So there exists and x and a y in our field where, that's what the comma is, where x plus y, x plus y is not equal to, is not equal to y plus x. This statement is proving that, that ac, ac fails. Think about this. This statement says that if you give me any two elements in the field, then I can add them however I want to in any order I want to, and I will still have the same same result. However, this statement is saying that there exists at least, well, one combination of x. There exists, there is one a combination of x and y where where if I were to add them uh, where x was first and y was first, that would not be the same as me adding y first and x first. And this is how this works. Let me do another one just to, just to show you how this is. So if I were to talk about, I don't know, multiplicative neutral, then, then it's, we, we know it's there exists a one, there exists a one in our field such that, such, such that, for all, for, for, for all x in the field, where if we were to take our, this multiplicative identity and we were to multiply by this x in, in this way, we would still retain our x. So in order to do in order to show that the multiplicative inverse fails, what you do is you put a bracket here at the front of the statement and one at the back. You put a big knot at the front. 
and now you focus specifically on the on the symbols and and on the equalities so clearly we have uh, so clearly we have this weird symbol and we have this and then we have this equality right here so you can't say for all once in a field you have to use a variable because this okay so if if this circle is all the elements that are in field in this statement in the original statement we are just saying that one one is this little dot that is living within f where if you multiply with any other element of f you will still have that that specific element now we have to do the opposite that's what not is for so you can't just say for all ones in in field that doesn't make sense you have to say the opposite so you say for all for everything but so everything except for that one so the green dot in the middle is one so everything except for one right in the field that's how you start it so for all so again weird symbols weird so okay let me let me change my color so weird symbols you change those so for all for all so this whole thing is equal to this so for all so well i should use implies imply is a more mathematically accurate symbol that I should be using here. So for all y's which are elements of the field, there exists, so this was flipped, this I just explained to you why we can't use one here, and the a got flipped, well changed with, 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 with this flipped e, so for all y in the field there exists an x which is also a part of the field such, such that if I were to take this and multiply it with this, so if I was to take y and multiply it by x, I would not, look, I, ch I changed I changed the equal sign, and that's where this comes in. You look at equalities and weird symbols, so I changed the equality from equal to not being equal to x. So what does this whole thing say? This says for all y's, which are elements of our field, there exists, so at least one x in the field such that if you were to take any any y and you were to multiply with that specific x, you will not get x. This statement basically shows, this statement will be used to show that multiplicative neutral, multiplicative neutral fails. So in this video, what I basically wanted to do, I wanted to basically show you how negation of statements works and how the logic uh, lectures that I gave uh, apply to this specific section of, of fields. I hope this video was helpful.